In this video, you are going to see me walk you through how to create your own color and emotion abstract art composition. I have chosen the word calm and you'll see me here just sketching out a few different lines and abstract shapes that I prefer to use in my project. I'm taping it down on my surface only because I know that I'm going to be using watercolor paint. If you are not using watercolor paint, you probably don't need to tape your paper down. Throughout this clip, you're seeing me trace out lots of different shapes for my composition. I'm trying to move all around the paper using lines and these almost ocean-like waves that also remind me a little bit of what a breeze might look like. I tried to create a starry night Vincent van Gogh style moon in the sky because that's one of my favorite paintings and that always calms me down seeing that piece of art. And then in these smaller areas where I'm just sketching a quick loop, I know that I'm going to be using watercolor paint in a wash method there. Now I'm going in with my Sharpie. You might choose to use um, colored pencils or crayons or other markers that you have to outline your shapes, but I'm just going in and playing around with my blue colors since that is the color scheme that I have chosen to go with for my calm emotion painting. I'm using this kind of turquoise color and then you'll see me switch to the lighter blue and the darker blue and I'm just playing around. Once I'm finished outlining everything, I'm going to go in and start adding a few different areas of pattern and details. So I'm repeating my lines with the gray Sharpie, and then I'm going to go in with this turquoise Sharpie to add these kind of zigzag line designs. I think lines work really well with this composition, and I'm filling it in in several sections that have that darker blue outline. You might choose to use circles, abstract shapes, geometric shapes, organic shapes like blobs or clouds or bubbles. But once you're finished, if you have watercolor paint available, you can start to fill in your painting. You may even choose just to use oil pastel or colored pencil, any supplies that you have available. But I'm using my blues and a little bit of a gray and turquoise, again, staying within my calm color composition so that I'm not changing up the emotion or the mood of my piece. And you'll see me continue moving along, adding lots of color and details with my paints. Once I'm done with larger areas of my painting, you're going to see me have a little bit of fun with my watercolor paints. I'm going to splatter in a few moments. Remember to have fun with this. Stick within your chosen emotion and feeling, and then play with the colors and the shapes that match that. Everything should work in harmony with one another. So remember, I'm keeping everything nice and cool and calm looking, and you'll see my finished product in the final image. I cannot wait to see what you create. Enjoy!